Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is part 29, I believe. So we left off the last mission and we had a... Oh, it looks like there's another one. I was just about to say we, we had a mission with Charlotte over here and it looks like we have another one. Um, considering we're right here, I'm gonna do it. Just... Okay, well, I mean, uh, let's just jump straight into it. I really want to finish her sort of quest line. So I'm just going to jump right back into the mission. Uh, that's a cougar. Okay, those things are so deadly. Um, oh, I need some, oh, what a way to start this episode. <laughs> I've barely done anything. Getting attacked by a cougar. Uh, let's also get some, some warmer rum. I mean, I might as well finish. I assume, I think she only has like three, three quests, but while I'm here, I might as well just do this one. Seems like she's back from her hunting. Um, there we go. Okay. Don't worry, Blizzard. It's okay. I mean, yeah. While I'm while I'm right here, I might as well just do it. My my. I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. Well, it's been like look a few minutes, different. quite literally. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh no, I didn't mean no, it. Like I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? <laughs> ah, Great. I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Seems like this is just a little conclusion to their story. Oh. So yeah, okay. Literally just a little conclusion to their story, Please which is quite go on nice. In and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. No, thank you, Charlotte. Oh. I've got enough. Well, that's very kind. I'm just gonna go in and rob her of everything she owns. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna make my way down to. I want to do this mission. Actually, no, let's just go to Sadie because it's on the way. I'm going to go do the Sadie Adler mission. I'm going to ride there and then we're going to see what Sadie, what Sadie wants from us. Let's see what she's, what's, let's see what mission she's got for us. Okay, we are coming up on the camp. This is where Sadie's at. So let's see, let's see what she's got for us. Well, it's me, Charles. It's me. You can tell me later. It's good to know you're still with me at least. Of course, Arthur. I guess we see how all this plays out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Miss Sadie Adler. Mrs. Adler. See what she's got. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? Oh goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Always. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me, and to my husband? But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Yeah, we got to help him. If not for the O'Driscolls, then for Sadie's sake. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail? Jack? John? Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done, but... Oh, Ooh, I'm rendered. <laughs> you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, 
Help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. You could actually have a life. Of course life. I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now? or? I still need to play the first game. Uh, let's go with her now. I still need to play Thanks, the first Arthur. game. Like, I haven't actually played Red Dead Redemption 1. Oh. Maybe it's something I'd do a little bit down the line. Um, I don't know if I can play them like back to back. They're pretty, uh, it's a pretty hardcore game. This, like, in terms of like you know cowboys and rootin' tootin' shootin'. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But like all that stuff, I don't know if I could play like back to back. And then we get our picture of the deer. Find more if we're killing. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I can finish them off. Drunk. For one of them, the fat fellow with the beard, him, he's mine. Okay. Fair enough. I'll leave the fat fellow with the beard. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. Let me get my guns. I don't have them on me. Take it from there. Okay. Okay. I want my double barrel and I want my repeater. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, Sadie. Arthur cannot shoot while he's running. I just need to take my time with the shooting. I should have brought my scope rifle. Can I? Yeah, I am using like, I'm even using the high damage ammo. If he's fat and he's got a beard, leave him alone. How did no ways did those two shots miss? Like, there's no ways. Point blank range and I shoot his hat off. Now nah, that's nonsense. Who else is up here? There's someone up here, I think. Age. Okay, he's done for. I'm coming, Sadie. I didn't find no fat man with a beard. What's in here? Anyone? Nope. I think Sadie found her man. Oh, 
Arthur, take your time, will you? There's the fat man with a beard. I'm assuming that's the one who killed her husband. That's my best guess. Whew. Miss Adler. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. No, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. <laughs> I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, uh, yeah. We should get away from her. Yeah. You suck, fat man with a beard. You suck. Yeah. He's not even that fat. I think I need to be alone for a bit. Understandable. I understand. Yeah. You, yeah. um, I want to get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> anytime, Sadie, anytime. There's a lot of bodies here. Eesh. Okay, well, that is the O'Driscoll's done for. I don't see them ever coming back from this. Okay. But anyway, this is such a pretty, like, field. The purple flowers and everything. Okay, where are we? Ooh, we're all the way down over here. Okay, let's make our way over to Eagle... <laughs> Look at all those X's. I'll make my way over to this Eagle Flies mission, and then we go from there. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I am right here. By Eagle Flies. Okay. This time I think I'm gonna use my... Uh, the rolling block rifle. Yeah. Alright. What's going on, gentlemen? What are we doing? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. All right. Well, I'll do what I can. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. No. Literally, that's exactly what you're doing. It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Nope. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep looking out. Come on, here.
A scent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. <laughs> Literally. What happens if the trees fall the other way? And then we're screwed. So, you finally got to see Calm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Archer. One by one. We ain't tying no loose ends. We're cutting them. Get back up to the high ground. Hurry, oh. I think I see some movement in the distance. Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Is okay, it? That's the signal. Here they come. <laughs> Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Okay. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's not too it's many. Fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. There's, well, it is quite a few of them. Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it. <laughs> Your hands up! You surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone! Who are you? A concerned citizen! Is that so? Now? There was more of them. No, oh, no, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fire first, soldier! Huh. Nobody need die, and then... This is exactly what Dutch wanted. Come on, Eagle Flies, you're literally being manipulated, bro. This is bad. Look out! They're coming up, Yeah, there's still a few more. There's a lot of them. You fools, you damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can. We literally just pissed off the whole army, now, Dutch. We have to move now. Search these men quickly. Then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? 
They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Nope. Rain's fall is literally trying to broke a piece. And then, yeah. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh no. <laughs> Some more army. Oh, I kind of wish I brought my repeater now. He's shooting rocks here, yeah, bro. Oh my There's gosh. From the fort we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This uh, area's gonna be with soldiers in a few minutes. It's just one leave. battalion. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Let's just leave Eagle Flies behind. Peter out in case something else happens. A little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose him down here. Get out of here, go. Yep. I'm glad I took out my repeater. Actually started a war. Oh, we've got 
Let's block the path with fire. Jump. This is it. This... We're gonna have to well, jump. Horser. Put your hands up. <laughs> I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. Of course you do. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. We're literally about to jump off this cliff. Captain, get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Gravity. Oh. Okay. Swim, Arthur. Swim. <laughs> I know, but a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go... Meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Uh, have no more faith. We get another picture of the deer. Okay, where are we going? We're going up to meet Charles at the reservation. All right, that I can do. I'm gonna take a ride up there, and then we're gonna go from there. Let's see, we need to we need to get out of this mess. We're now at minimum weight. Ish, Arthur, you gotta eat something, bro. Try to get that weight up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna make my way up to the reservation. It's not too far of a ride, and then I will see you guys when I get them. Okay, we are coming up on the reservation. To see Charles. And then I assume we're probably gonna go try and save Eagle Flies if he's still alive. Oh, are we?
wish I could walk a little bit faster. Okay, I can run off horse, so I'm gonna do that. Hello, Charles. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. Of course. The chief, he's a. Uh, he's very. Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, <laughs> yes. Why well, can't? He's in his tent. Joe. I'll wait for you here. Oh, rain's full. I'm so sorry. Hello? Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? The people who have lied to my people for... A hundred years or more, that's treason. Well, what should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No, no zero chance. chance. We had. Your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. No, he doesn't. But matters are more... Complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got. I'm doing this. Charles, where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. All right, Charles. I'll follow you. Always. No, oh, cow. Okay, girl. Oh, PD reservation. Hmm. Set in the same area as Firewatch, maybe. If you know, you know. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. Ooh, yes, I like that. Noise. He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I like that. I left just... two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> I like it. Just arrows and no, knives. I like this it. wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Oh yeah, and that's just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe. He's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. Pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation, and that's for Dutch. I gotta try. I own that at least. This is a bit of a steep cliff here, Charles. There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No, come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... 
What's up, Doc? It's pretty bad. But it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like I mean, I suppose. You kind of. Still have time to he has a point. The others. Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to do something better. This I is why I like Charles. That's why you're here now. It's exactly why I'm here. Just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I need to get my bow. And then no guns. Maybe I'll keep a repeater on me just in case. But uh yeah. That current up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The rain makes everything but look so I cool in this game. In there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Fort Wallace. Time to finally break into this place. Take it down. Alright. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I feel like this is gonna be a cool mission. Yeah, Fort Wallace. Nice little stealthy bow and arrow mission. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? I'm ready. Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's one dude at the... Is it just the one? No, there's two of them. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stay close to the wall. This is cool. I love missions like this. Good. Let's keep moving. Not very good at the stealthy stuff, but it's fun. All right, Charles. Where are we getting in? Stay back. Shh. Wait. Two more. One in the tower. One on the ground. Same as before. You take one. I got the other. Going for the tower, dude. We got them nicely. This is the spot. Mm, it's not the biggest fort in the world, but it looks like there's a lot of dudes. And we gotta keep quiet, otherwise. Yeah, the prisoners don't stand a chance. Shh. Guard up ahead. Have you got a shot on him? 
Oh, I missed. Thankfully, he didn't hear that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to stop. That was stupid. There's a guard coming. Okay, let's wait for him to stop. Okay, use the bow, Arthur. Okay. Quick, this way. This way. Another one up ahead. To use some of my throwing knives. I got it. Yeah, there's a lot of people in this camp. Another two ahead. One each. It was before. Good work. Come on. You got him, Charles. Okay, Arthur, come on. Damn it. There's more out front. Go up the tower, see if you can cause the distraction. All right. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. We should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Okay. Let's take this dude out. Okay, I see what Lantern is talking about. Adam. Arthur Morgan? Charles, see, is that you? Yeah, you dumbass, we're here for you. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll Ooh, take the moonshot. You search the body. See, the keys have got to be on him, surely. Hopefully. Got him. Got him. managed to save this dumbass. Hopefully he's learned his lesson that, uh, this is what happens when you choose violence. Come on. Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. <laughs> you say so. Whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Now they know we're here. Damn it. Oh, I shot I shot a horse by accident. I'm sorry. I hate it when I shoot a horse. Gotcha.
Oh, we sealed back up. Are the deal with this with you? Yes, but I got a plan. That'll work. Come on, Charles, hurry up. Where are we going, Charles? Where are we going? Oh, yes, to the canoes. Let's go. I don't want to accidentally shoot a horse and then I lose honor. Oh, I, I almost got scared for a second there. I was like, why is my honor so low? It did go down a little bit again because of something so stupidly annoying. I was in Valentine and these two guys started fighting and I tried to get back on my horse, which is E, but then Arthur grabbed some dude and hit him. And then I lost honor for that. Like I pressed E to try and get back on my horse. Let's get out of here. So many of them. Oh, I'm gonna die. Go, oh, turn. Yo, you've done enough, Eagle Flies. We've gone and pissed off the whole army again. Ah. Can't even shoot back. What am I supposed to do? I can't. I can't shoot back. I can't paddle any faster. How am I supposed to not die in that scenario? Like, what? What else am I supposed to do? Anyway. Like, the, there's literally nothing else I could have done. Oh, I can shoot. It wasn't letting me shoot earlier. That's annoying. Oh, I don't have much dead eye left. I'm gonna have to eyeball it. Okay, well, it wasn't letting me shoot earlier, but now it is. Is this? 
double action revolver. It's kind of nice actually. <laughs> I don't have to double click it to shoot. Yeah. Got a big thunderstorm. Dude, you need to calm down on all this strenuous activities you've been doing. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, no. I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Shh. Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No mention. Yeah. All right. I think I might be able to fit in one more, one more mission. This episode. Ish. Maybe. Arthur is like really on the verge of collapsing. Come on, Blizzard, where are you? Okay. So if we go back to camp, then Dutch needs to speak to us. Let's see. Let's set up a camp. I, for the longest time, have gone so long while forgetting that you can fast travel from one of these camps. I've been riding around all over the place. Oh, fast travel. Can I travel to... What's the name of our um, camp? I forget. Beaver Hollow. There we go. Man, I always forget you could fast travel from one of these camps. I've been riding around all over the place. <laughs> uh, it's not a feature that I ever really, really used. It was only just earlier when I was doing some cooking at the camp. I was like, oh yeah, I can fast travel from here. Completely forgot that this game has fast travel. But anyway. Okay. Let's see. Dutch Vanderland. You can see the camps sort of separated. Look, we got John, Sadie, and Charles. And then we got Dutch and Micah over there. Miss Tilly. Uh, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. I really like Tilly. You okay? All this whispering and walking on air trails, I hate it. Yeah, same. Then you got like this side of the gang. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! 
My son. My last son. Don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. Sure. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. Wise words. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. Of course. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I Seems guess. like the whole gang's going. All right. Let's ride out. Dutch just wants more noise. It's nice to have sort of a, a whole gang ride off again, though. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Any of that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? Handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. <laughs> Show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Pinbuck 2? That's <laughs> enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. I really need to play the first game, man. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Yeah. Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No. No. Go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on. Stupid plan, Dutch. You can see them sort of. Arthur's like, now's the time. You need to get out of here, John. Oh my gosh. It's 
a massacre. We gotta help these men. And then they won't see eagle flies. There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Let's ride! Let me get my, my guns ready. Let's get him. Come on, Charles. You're running too slow, my friend. in ultra focus mode right now there's a dude somewhere back this way Can I use this gun and turn it around? No, probably not. Let's use the sword off for a little bit. I mean, not the sword off. The double barrel. I'm kind 
of like super focused up just because there's so many of these dudes oh oh that's nasty oh arthur hi why is my horse here bro my horse is gonna die I need a health cure or something as well. Something for my dead eye as well. Do I have anything? No. Let's do this maybe. Bro, horse, what are you doing here, Blizzard? Can't even make her flee. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm literally trying to make her flee. She doesn't want. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's one more dude left. Get out of here. Scout. Oh. Come on, Dutch. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. Don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. Okay. So why did you want to... Why did you want to use them as bait? On the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so if we get it, we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're Off right. to Tahiti. We've had tough times. The toughest <laughs> of times. But yeah, that's for on. sure. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Oh, well, there's some money. We got some cash. Would have to be in the desk. I got him. Yeah. I got him. I got him. This is it. This out to get out. So State bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Oops. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Horse. We're nearly there. I think I just broke my mic. <laughs> Give me Let's a second. Oh, crap. Okay, I think I fixed it. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Arthur. Yep. Ooh. That doesn't sound too good. 
I need to get a new uh, new boom arm for this this mic. This one doesn't exactly fit my mic properly. It's sort of makeshift uh, ratchet put together. I'm gonna... That'll work. Yeah, that dynamite worked pretty well. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. just left me Dutch straight up just walked away he left me to die oh eagle flies oh, you, you silly fool come on there's no ways he survived to give mine for yours, it's as it should be. Come on, we need to go. You, you ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we Arthur's literally is like you left me and to die. Train job? <laughs> but we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on. We got to get back to camp. Dutch straight up just left off it to Let's die. Ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't going to be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to a pit. Be as fast as we can. Yeah, I hope he. I hope he's gonna be all right. How far is where PD from here? It's not crazy far. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. Not now. We will. Save your strength, my friend. I'm sorry about this. About all of this. You have. <laughs> Busy screaming. Dutch. Dutch is. I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You see the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. Yeah, um... Right. Okay, Charles? Not really. Woo! All this death, and for what? Yeah, uh, Morgan, so Arthur... Martha's... Arthur's done. done. He's done with Dutch. Maybe After that... Nothing. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be. I know. He'd be dead. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. Yep. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. 
Let's just get this boy to his father. Come on, Blizzard, you can hold out for a little bit longer. Your friend here? Maybe not. My friend. He's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. Bro, have you not learned what you get from fighting? what you get for fighting but let's be real the army is never gonna take a peaceful so uh, solution they never have and they never will not when there's money like Very that involved hopefully he lives Sorry, man. My son. <laughs> you need to get out of here. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Oh my gosh. This thing is really, really busted. I don't think there's much left, so I'm just gonna hold it till the rest of this video. <laughs> oh no, I do have to ride my horse. I think. Maybe not. Hopefully it's a cutscene. I'm gonna try and screw this thing back in. Maybe not. Oh. Who's this? Yeah, I don't know. This thing's like real, real broken. Please. Let me try to fix it. Jesus. Rest a minute. Come on. Is this the German people that we helped early? Yes, it is them. But, but. There we go. All right, I think it should be sort of fixed for now. I really need a new boom arm, man. Woo. It's just the, the one that fits this one is a little bit expensive. Where am I? Am I in Annisburg? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, we met the Germans again. Um, gang share. Your share. Zero cents. So we made nothing from that. Okay, Dutch Vanderlyn. I, however, I'm going to end this episode here. Seems like, I, I reckon we probably maybe only got one or two more episodes left. I might just do the next episode as like a really lengthy 
ending to the game. Um, I, I think, I think we're sort of very, very nearing the end of the game, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff really does help out the channel. And until the next one, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.